It's Ashley Judge time once again on this 4th of Ju July holiday. And today, Judge Larry Thorne joins us for one of our most popular segments. Thank you so much for coming in on your day off. Oh, you are so welcome. I, you know, I, I wouldn't say that maybe I had some stuff to do at the house and you <laughs> saved me. But uh, no, it's great to be here. Great to be here. Okay, let's jump right in. Here's a question from one of our viewers. An adjacent neighbor fenced his yard on and erected a large portion of the fence on my property and has been proven by survey. I have taken several steps to get him to relocate the fence, but it appears I will be forced to take legal action. Which court should I go to? I've used this term before, but this is really ratchet. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is a common situation, uh, more common than, than you think. Uh, don't throw firecrackers over in their yard. Don't mm -hmm. do that. It sounds like they've done quite a bit. Uh, you're going to have to actually go to district court. Go to big court on this because it involves a uh, dispute over land. Okay. And so district court is the only one that can do that. Now, if you are absolutely 100% sure that this is on your property, you've got the survey and everything, technically you can take the fence down that's on your property mm -hmm. as long as, A, be real careful, do not trespass on your neighbor's property, don't go on the neighbor's property, and uh, don't damage the neighbor's property. Okay. But that's, I'd go get a lawyer and have mm -hmm. him write a letter. Let's hope this ends well yes. with these neighbors. The second question, at what age should a child have to spend an entire month with a non-custodial parent? The non-custodial parent never gave notice of their intent to keep the child until it was time for the child to be returned from a weekend visit. Well, that's another one of those ratchet situations, mm -hmm. uh, and we see this a lot too. The answer is when the judge says, or in other words, when your decree says, read your decree, because uh, if a lawyer did your decree, it's going to say that for summer visitation, you've got a specific 30 days or a specific month if you want to change that, you've got to give notice, usually in April, maybe May, as late as May, but you've got to give that notice if you're going to change that. doesn't sound like this person gave notice mm -hmm. of what they were going to do. Otherwise, they would have known that that was right. the visitation. Mm -hmm. So I think you have legal remedies. Consult with an attorney if you had plans to, to go to Disneyland and, and uh, the father's keeping the child yeah, so yeah. do something about exactly. it exactly there has to be an open line of communication in absolutely absolutely uh, usually this type of visitation kicks in also when you're three years of age mm -hmm. so uh, but they've got a remedy go see a lawyer okay well thank you so much you're welcome we're done with that now you can go off and do some grilling okay yeah <laughs> There you go. Okay. And if you have any questions for our Ask the Judge segment, fill out a form at 12newsnow.com slash askthejudge. Eric is back in just a moment with a final check of your 4th of July.